All right, my friends, welcome back to Salt City Counseling. Once again, my name's Scott. I am a licensed therapist here in the beautiful state of Utah. This uh, video is also a viewer question, uh, response to a viewer question, comment. Um, this has to do with major depression, treating major depression, and if IFS or internal family systems might be able to help with that. Looks like the first name is Andy. Hi, Andy. Um, thank you for submitting this. I'm sorry it took me so long to get to it, my friend. Um, I hope you're well. I hope you're doing okay. But uh, here I am. I finally managed to get to it. I, I had a lot of, I've had a lot of things keeping me busy. I'm sure you understand. But anyways, so this has to do with uh, treatment-resistant depression and IFS. I'm going to go ahead and read the comment or the question. Uh, so, it, by the way, if you haven't seen my video on EMDR versus IFS or internal family systems, you may want to go back and watch that first. But here we go. Would you be willing to say that these parts, meaning the parts having to do with... Um, internal family systems theory or IFS theory uh, are similar to the emotions in the movie Inside Out. Um, also, I have treatment resistant depression and sometimes it definitely feels like a part of myself is holding me back. Uh, I have tried a few different forms of therapy, CBT, DBT, lifespan integration, and I'm sure there are others that I can think of. I've undergone ECT, for those of you who don't know, electro electroshock therapy. Uh, which is where they literally put something in your mouth to bite down on and they... Um, uh, shock your brain with they send electricity through your brain to shock it um, but anyways I've undergone ECT under the age of 30 saw a little benefit when we stopped it got worse my therapist suggested IFS therapy and it might work for me my problem is that I have a hard time visualizing things mentally and I know quite a few forms of therapy require mental visualization will that be a problem thank you for your question Andy this is um a lot there's a lot to unpack here I will do my best my friend um, but there's a lot of good questions uh, here. Um, first of all, um, I want to give you some kudos for just staying with it. I know it's hard. Um, I just I want to give you some kudos and uh, some props just uh, for not giving up and to, and to continue to search for the right answer. And um, so I commend you on that. And so I, I appreciate the question. Would I be willing to say that the parts uh, in IFS are similar to the emotions in Inside Out? Yeah, in a way. Um, uh, the, the movie Inside Out, I did see it. I don't, I don't watch a lot of kids' movies, but um, I did watch this one because it felt like it was relevant to therapy and psychology, and people would ask me about it. And so, in, in a sense, yes. Uh, that's probably the most accurate description, or the most accurate depiction, anyways, of like an IFS model that we've probably ever seen, in, especially in a popular media format. And so, in a way, yes, um, Inside Out is similar to... The, what happens with internal family systems um, with it also being quite a quite a bit more complicated um, you know it's uh, the human mind is very very complex and, and sorting it out is very very difficult uh, but yes I would say that is a fairly fairly I mean just the most accurate depiction I've, I've yet to find um, or, or see. So yeah, you can use that as sort of a little bit of a baseline to build your foundation on sometimes how the mind works. Okay. Um, in regards to treatment resistant depression and IFS, uh, first I wanna say, um, I'm sorry that you did ECT. Um, I'm actually surprised they still do it. I'm actually, I'm actually really surprised that they still do it it's it's pretty if you ask me it's pretty archaic it's pretty like i don't know reminiscent of the lobotomy days if you ask me i don't think they should do it um i've i've encountered uh several people over the years that do it that have done it uh with uh not great results um like you said it's kind of worse over time you've probably experienced some memory lapses uh your your memories uh, probably diminished you've probably also kind of experienced just the blahs like instead of feeling are really depressed or down you just feel really blah just kind of dead like a zombie uh for people out there who are potentially considering ect i don't recommend it um and uh you know that's this is not official medical advice i've just never encountered anybody that where they got a, a lot of actual help from it uh but i also think that our conventional models for treating things like treatment resistant depression are not very helpful at all or not they're obviously not working um, so <clears throat> in regards to, I'm going to address this part. Uh, I don't know where you are, Andy. I don't know where you're located here in my, here where I am, we, uh, are able to incorporate certain, um, agents, uh, in medicinal ways, specifically ketamine 
is psilocybin. And psilocybin was just approved for medical use here in Utah. And I'm all for it. I'm 100% all for it. So the reason why I'm bringing this up is that uh, ECT has a way of basically, it, it'll kill your brain cells. It will. Your brain cells will diminish. Your memory will diminish. Your cognitive functioning, your emotional functioning will diminish because it just, honestly, it just kills your brain cells. And um, <clears throat> and you might ask, why, why would they allow it if it kills your brain cells? And I'm, that's the question, isn't it? But um, ketamine and psilocybin specifically have uh, a neurogenesis and neurostimulant effect so that your your brain develops okay your brain can uh, form new neural connections and create new neural pathways brand new ones um, so ketamine has been shown for example to stimulate your nerve cells to sprout new endings or dendrites where the uh, the neurons can create new connections and new networks okay and i had i had worked with someone years ago this is just a sample size of one so take it for what it is but this individual uh had you had gone to ect pretty young early 20s um really really struggling after ect just dead he's basically would sit in a chair with a with a blank with an afghan all day and just sort of just be miserable uh, we got that individual going on ketamine, <clears throat> and I will tell you, honest to God, in two months, completely different person, completely different person, total change in mood, total change in just eye contact, smiling, life activity, getting involved, going out, doing things, going camping, all kinds of stuff. Um, it just was alive again. And so ketamine brought new life into this person. Um, and I believe it was the ketamine. I mean, I, I, I think I'm a good therapist, but I'm not that good. Um, so I, so Andy, you may want to consider those things if, if you can legally access them. Um, if you want to access them outside of, of your legal limitations, that's on you. Um, but uh, anyways, moving on. So can IFS help with um, treatment-resistant depression? So the idea is, so you mentioned also here that, um, that like there's a part of yourself holding you back. So IFS would say, let's access that one that it seems to be holding you back. And in many regards, the practitioners of IFS have found that, yes, there is a part of you that seems to be actively trying to hold you back or is actively holding you down. And so IFS can really, really help uh, to address that specific targeted thing and what is surrounding it and uh and bringing it out and resolving it uh and in the way that it is so yes ifs might be able to help in that regard the reason why i even like this therapy model is it really gets to the heart of the matter in a non-intrusive way I, again i dislike emdr and, and andy um you, i know you saw my other video i would not recommend doing emdr emdr is if you have traumas, if you have really bad trauma, stay away from EMDR. It's only going to do make things worse. Um, unless you find a, a therapist that does it really, really well, which is hard to do. They're not, there's not very many out there that do it well. Um, I'm just being honest. <coughs> but IFS gets to the heart of the problem without being really intrusive. You're not even going to need to talk about the specific events and the specific traumas. Um, you can just talk about uh, well, you, you get to the heart of um, – uh, why why it's there and just helping it to resolve and change how it how it functions for you and reintegrates right so yes i think ifs could help potentially if done well if done right um, and understanding too that there's just going to be parts of you that you naturally want to keep completely walled off um, and a lot of people erroneously believe that if they open those parts about themselves uh, that all hell's going to break loose basically Right. And you so done correctly, you're just going to basically heal that part of you and integrate it. That's that's the point. OK. Without being intrusive and without violating the, the trauma threshold. OK. Uh, in terms of your last and final question in regards to visualization. No, that's not a problem. I'm not a very good visual visualizer either. I don't visualize that well either. Um, but I have actually done my own work um, using the IFS um, way of going about things. And I have found it to be really quite profound and even quite effective and more so effective than a lot of other things that I've done for myself. 
Um, I don't, I'm not great with visualization either, my friend. And so, but what helped me was like being able to, I actually drew a diagram. I think I showed it in the last video. I, I drew a diagram. You could do that, right? Draw, you, draw a big stick figure in the middle and then draw other parts and begin um, like writing down what those parts are. And that can help with the visualization, visualization process. Um, and so IFS um, may be able to help you with this. If I was you, if you can have legal access to it, I would couple it with either ketamine or psilocybin. Okay, hopefully that helps. Uh, thanks for watching, everybody. Uh, if you'd like to submit a question, please put put it in the in the comment section below. You can email me directly. I will put that in the down below in the comments or in the video description. Okay, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. See you next time.